Rebel forces from Ethiopia's war-torn region of Tigray have accused the African Union of bias, days after the bloc appointed former Nigerian President Alusagun Obasanjo as a mediator in the months-long conflict. A spokesman for the Tigray People's Liberation Front, Getachu Raider, accused the O of partiality, toward the Ethiopian government and said it would be, naive, to expect this mission to work. Northern Ethiopia has been racked by violence since November, when Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed sent troops into Tigray to topple the TPLF, the regional ruling party, saying the move came in response to attacks on army camps. The 2019 Nobel Peace Prize winner promised a swift victory, but the war has instead dragged on for months, triggering a humanitarian crisis in Tigray, while the rebels have pushed into the neighboring Afar and Amhara regions. Abiy rejected early appeals from high-level envoys from the O for talks with Tigran leaders, sticking to his line that the conflict is a limited law and order operation. On Thursday, the bloc announced Obasanjo's appointment as a high representative for the Horn of Africa, saying it was part of a drive to promote peace, security, stability and political dialogue. But on Sunday, TPLF spokesman Getachu dismissed the initiative, saying, We are hard-pressed to know how people would reasonably expect a constructive role from an institution that has given partiality a very bad name. Solving a crisis at the very least requires acknowledging the existence, let alone the magnitude of the problem, he wrote on Twitter. The war has proved to be a sensitive subject for the O, which is headquartered in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Although Washington has been openly critical of Abiy's handling of the war, African members of the UN Security Council have backed Ethiopia in opposing formal discussion of the situation in Tigray at the world body. According to the members, whose stance is backed by Russia and China, the conflict is Ethiopia's internal affair and any international efforts should go through African leaders or via the O. As the conflict has deepened, the humanitarian toll has spiked, with aid workers struggling to reach cut-off populations and 400,000 people facing famine-like conditions in Tigray, according to the UN. Obasanjo previously headed the AU's election observer mission during Ethiopia's polls last June, where Abiy won a landslide victory. But a fifth of the country's constituencies, including in Tigray, were unable to vote due to ethnic violence and logistical problems. There was no immediate response from the O to the TPLF's allegations, and calls to the bloc's representatives were not answered. 